Hello everyone, this is Molly again from BTE Magic. How is your BTE preparation going? Today we're going to talk about BTE rescoring. So um, have you ever felt that you did pretty well in your exam? However, uh, when the score report came out, it was not what you expected. In this kind of situation, you probably thought of uh, appealing and asking for reassessment. But at the same time, you didn't want to waste your time and money because uh, you heard many rumors saying that Pearson don't normally change their scores. Um, so what to do? Now we're going to have a look at few cases where people ask for rescoring. But before we start, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below so that you can see more videos about BTE tips. Now keep in mind that there are various reasons why people doubt about the outcome of the score report. Um, one of the reasons is probably external factor that affected your performance during the test. Like in the case of Anne, one of our students who felt that another candidate in the test room was too loud and too noisy, hence uh, she couldn't concentrate on her speaking module. So what she did after exam was that she immediately called customer service and then follow up with an email explaining in details about what actually happened in the test room. So she said that during the first half of the exam, she was um, really disturbed by another candidate who was um, shouting extremely loud. And even though she received a warning, um, the candidate still continued to speak with a very high volume. And also received an email from staff saying that um, she should expect a follow-up within three to five business days. She didn't hear anything from them for two weeks, so she had to keep following up with phone calls and emails. And finally, she got a response from them. Two weeks later, Pearson didn't uh, offer rescoring, but they have reviewed her exam and have decided to offer her a free reschedule of the exam. Luckily, it was also her last time doing the test because Anne passed PTE with flying colors. Congratulations again. The whole process took more than three weeks. So if you're confident that there was an external factor that affected uh, your performance, I recommend you to pursue the case so you can at least get a free exam. Another case is Henry who has been doing pretty well in speaking. However, in the actual test, he only got 10 for pronunciation. I then urged Henry to email Pearson uh, and ask them for further investigation. So in the email, um, Henry actually said that he was very disappointed and that he believed there should be a technical issue or a glitch that affected his pronunciation, which is why his pronunciation was minimum of uh, 10. Three weeks later. Pearson replied um, saying that they actually um, reviewed um, his uh, speaking um, and after listening to his recording they found that there were excessive plosive sounds coming from blowing or close exhaling into the microphone which um, impacted his scores and uh, this is obviously human interference um, so uh, what they did was um, they offer him a full refund and he can also have an option to retest free of charge of course they didn't admit that there was any technical issues but instead was saying that it was because of the candidate's incorrect microphone position and the human interference um, but eventually he still got an option to choose between 
a free reschedule or a refund. Okay, to answer these questions, let's have a look at another case, Narendra, who was doing very well in three modules except for speaking, so he scored 80 plus in each other modules. Uh, so he decided to email Pierce and ask them for rescoring or uh, re-evaluation. Unfortunately, Pearson concluded that it was not the microphone, but rather the test taker's performance during the test, which was still insufficient. My advice is that you should go for a reassessment but you shouldn't expect too much because the marking is done by a computer so it's very unlikely that your score will change drastically. Normally the process is not going to be rapid and in the best case scenario they will just give you a free exam for another day. Um, and don't forget that the fee for rescoring is 100 US dollars and will only be refunded to you if your score changes after reassessment. Another advice to avoid any technical issues is to ask your friends or to check on any BTE forums to see if anyone experienced any problems with the microphone or the keyboards. So you might try to avoid that death center. Plus always always check your microphone carefully so if you notice any weird sounds during the microphone check, advise them immediately. So I hope this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions please don't forget to comment below and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and good luck with your preparation. Bye!